I'm ready. What do you think it is? I think it's a giant inflatable one. One of those ones at the dealerships that go. <laughs> <laughs> that may be better than that what's will, in here. I that don't would be know. Really cool. That'd be really cool. <laughs> Hello and happy Friday to you guys. We're having a great week here at House of Valentina. I've got a really exciting agenda for the day because we are going, I, I'm going to Restoration Hardware all by myself. I, I call it a day of self care. <laughs> I've been thinking about, you guys know if you've been watching the Friday with B, the Fridays with B, that I've been making some pretty big changes around the house and redecorating some rooms and some of the furniture has not all worked out and some of it has and I need to add a few pieces. I want to add a few pieces to finish off the room and I just think it's so nice to be able to go and sit on some pieces and see if I really like them in person. When you're thinking about changing, making a big change in your decor, sometimes just going to the store and trying out a few things is all, it's actually a really good idea. Even if you don't buy them from that store, I've seen some similar styles at other places, but I've never actually sat in the chairs that I'm thinking about and the style that I'm thinking about. So I'm gonna go to the store, I'm gonna sit in some things, I'm gonna look around, I'm gonna see if I like the way that it feels, and then I'll decide whether I'm gonna be ordering from Restoration Hardware, the problem right now with Restoration Hardware and pretty much anywhere else is that if you want to order something and you're going to do a custom order, it's going to take at least six months, at least. So I'm going to decide whether I'll be patient, if I think it's worth waiting for, all that kind of stuff. So we also have had some amazing, amazing deliveries. <laughs> so stay tuned. You want to watch all the way through because we've got some really, really fun stuff to share with you for this Friday with B. You're not going to believe the deliveries. Good. I'm gonna head to Restoration Hardware and um, let's go. Even though it was my agenda to look at beds for my bedroom makeover that I am working on, I could not help but at least take a little bit of a peek in the outdoor area because I've been sprucing up my outdoor area as well. And I got kind of excited because they have these really cool planters with the little succulents in there and I have something very similar at home as well. So stay tuned. I'll be sharing with you how to create that look um, whether you have a restoration hardware near you or not. Now, I did start in the bedroom area with a collection that I do already own. And even though I have absolutely loved this collection, I own this dresser, I feel like I'm just ready for something different, something new. I do, however, think that you can absolutely blend styles and look through these areas for ideas and even some items. Even here where I'm looking at the chairs, which I think are maybe just a little bit too themey for me, the urn looks so cool sitting there. And I think that's how you can kind of move your way through the gallery and take ideas from the entire shop, even though for me, I'm moving on more to the modern section, but there's still these modern elements like that gorgeous mirror and the artwork here over the bed. And this bedroom could be very, very modern, just as these chairs are. So I think that's what's interesting about the gallery is that it's a lot of fun to take a peek, look through the things that they have, say, I really, like this tufted bed, I like this artwork, or I don't like the way that this feels, it's a little too overwhelming. Here, I'm showing you what it looks like without the tufting, very similar layout. They have a lot of rustic wood. This one in particular really caught my eye because I think this exhibit is new. And I thought that you guys would really enjoy getting to see this because it's really beautiful. It's just too rustic for my personal taste but I really liked the way they had things lined up in there. I loved how they had the modern tub mixed with the rustic elements. I like the way that they're mixing the elements. I just don't feel like maybe it's the mix that I'm looking for. And so in the end, I feel like I found a lot of small things that really caught my eye, like these little cups and the sink and a lot of these matte black things, these elements, the fixtures and, and the accessories. 
but overall most of what restoration hardware is offering right now is pretty rustic and it's funny I, I didn't think about it before I came through and, and really had time to myself to really process through what I was looking at it was then that I really realized okay that's what it is about this furniture they're doing everything in the brown woods and that's not something that really jumps out at me so I think it's really fun when you're going through here to really just take your time think through whether you like something whether you don't is this the color that I like is it the, the finish and these kinds of things should be able to help you process through whether it's something that you actually want to take home and you're gonna really enjoy for years to come here you can see I'm just taking a little peek into this little bathroom area I just always love how they have these white towels and all their little accessories it's always so inspiring to see how they put everything together and I always want stacks of white towels when I go to restoration hardware it's like oh I've got to go home and put white washcloths on all the counters that's just so pretty I just love that I actually came to restoration hardware thinking that I was going to be buying this velvet bed and I couldn't figure out why it just wasn't really doing much for me I still absolutely adore all their chagrin pieces I think this is literally one of their best things that they have in the entire store and some of their the metal lamps like this the way they're mixing the materials is definitely something that I really really like you guys probably have seen my brass light at home I like mixing these materials I like mixing the textures but for some reason I just wasn't feeling the room and I realized later when I got home I think a lot of it is the fact that they've got all the modern furniture sitting in white rooms and they've taken away the lighting in these spaces and so I actually left thinking I wasn't gonna buy anything and that was kind of disappointing for me because there's so many pretty things but I, I think sometimes you can go through look at the different pieces and try to figure out what it is that you love and what you don't love um, for me you know again it's like wood tones I'm, I'm probably not going to buy a bed in this wood tone but I really liked the bedding and I liked that sort of mix of things I liked how they doubled the shams and just the way that they layered the bed even though this isn't a bedroom I realized I really loved the color palette and that made the trip totally worth it in the end hey guys I am back in the car and it is a new day and I have a rattling vase in the back because I have run by one of my listings to grab um, some of the saving items that we had in it and it's always exciting when you have a closing the next day but it was a, a my sellers actually moved out of town so I went and grabbed this stuff and just made sure that the house was ready for the final walkthrough for the buyer for tomorrow so um, sometimes it's it's nice for me to be able to go and do that myself and make sure everything's in good order for them so anyways I'm actually on the way home and it is raining and gray and rainy another rainy day in Georgia seems like that's all we're getting lately uh, but yeah I'm heading back towards home and I'm gonna stop my Whole Foods Landon has been begging to make pizzas and he's suddenly really into cooking so I thought it'd be really fun for us to make some pizzas oh it's like suddenly really boring um yeah so I'm gonna pay attention to the road get to Whole Foods and catch up with you guys in just a minute
All right, well, I am back in the car and uh, definitely worse for wear from all that rain. Um, thankfully, I had an umbrella in the car. That does not always happen with me. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna head home. I'm wondering if Jack ordered the KitchenAid that I was eyeing and I'm like, I don't wanna think that maybe that's what it is, but it might be. <laughs> Cause I know if I say something to him, he's gonna order it. <laughs> So we'll see if that's what it is. And Landon should be getting home soon. So we're gonna go home and make some pizza and it's rainy and um, I've got a fun salad to make and I got all the ingredients. So yeah, let's head home and make some pizzas, unbox something supposedly that's gonna be amazing. And yeah, we'll see where we go from there. Let's go. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? How are you doing? You look like you got wet in the rain too. Yeah. Yeah. Were you playing outside at the playground? I was. I was. There. Yeah. Hi. Good How are you? Good. There's something on the porch. Do you want me to bring that in? What is it? Like a gold thing? A gold thing? Gold finger. <laughs> Ooh, yes. That's well, cool. One of my clients said that she had this and they weren't using it. Apparently her dogs were knocking it over. So oh, I love this. So yeah, so I thought that you would like that. And no. that's exactly what I told her, that you've been wanting one of those for I've been forever. To make drinks on the go. <laughs> Coffee, tea? <laughs> anything for you? Duty free? Anyone? <laughs> that's perfect, Jack. That's perfect, honey. <laughs> I would say that's very successful, huh? I, know, I love that. I'm walking in your room in the morning with my <laughs> slowly knit on my way. And then once I'm done, you just go. <laughs> just move it off to the side. I just move it off there to the side. There we go. We'll trolley it back that. to the. I've been wanting one of those for a long time. Yes, you have. So, yeah. <laughs> hey, we got some packages. You want to help me un undo some packages? Sure, why not? Okay. I think Dad was naughty. <laughs> There's a really big box in there. In a good way, naughty. <laughs> not naughty like I have to apologize. <laughs> not that naughty. Okay. No, like mom's gonna feel guilty if this is what I think it is. I wanna open something. Yeah, I think it's gonna, I, I think I might know what it is, but. <laughs> it is. It's a big white box and it's heavy. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually got one other thing that I ordered at like 3 a.m. <laughs> Maybe we'll open that too. <laughs> we order a lot of the crazy things between 2 and 3 a.m. Yeah, so it's from a brand I've never ordered from, so I'll have to just check oh, it out. Cool. Maybe we can check it out together. All right. Okay, let's go in there let's and go. open stuff up. Hey, uh, I was yeah. so, so naughty. That's right, it's from Netta Porte. What's that? Oh, it's one of my favorite places to order, and they sell luxurious items. This is definitely not a high luxury item because most of the stuff on there maybe isn't the most affordable, but sometimes they have things that are and they're amazing. Isn't that so pretty the way they do that? I always save boxes from them. So this is from a brand called Stodd. Maybe you guys have heard of it. I hadn't, but uh, ooh. <laughs> look how cute that is. Wow, isn't this so cute? I like Look it. Look at how pretty this is. The hardware on it is really, really nice. Yeah, it is. This is gonna be perfect. Then you can throw all of your army guys in here when we go out places. True that, true that. <laughs> right. What do you think? Do you think this is super cute? I think so. Very cute. Love it. <laughs> What are you doing? She's helping me undo it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. There we go, folks. This is fun because you can actually throw it over crossbody like this. But I was also thinking that I could just carry it like this. Very fancy, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you like it? I think it's really cute. I like it's got it. the little ruching on it like that. We like Here, it. show it to the camera so they can see it up close. What do you guys think? Fabulous. Is this a keeper? Ooh, now we have to open this humongous box. Oh, thank you. I'm actually gonna set it down. <laughs> move this out of the way. That's just the receipt in there. 
Oh. They make it all look really fancy though, don't they? Hmm. It gets a pretty letter. Well, I want to look at this letter. I know. Okay, I'm gonna put it all away and then let's get this big box that Dad has gotten us and see what's inside. I hope it is what I think it is. I hope it is what I think it is. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. What do you think it is? I think it's a giant inflatable. One of those ones at the dealerships that go. <laughs> That may be better than that what's will, in here. I that don't would be know. Really cool. That'd be really cool. You walk down the stairs and you just see, woo! You've <laughs> got something you mark with. <laughs> oh I, is, can it at least be black so it'll go with my aesthetic? Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, are we ready for this? Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, breathe. <gasps> it is! You are so bad! You are so bad! You said you wanted it. Oh, I wanted it so bad. I've thought about it so much. I keep going back and what is it? putting it in my cart. Can you help me get this out? Yeah. It is, it's too tall for me here. are so bad. <laughs> yeah, you can't see he's grinning from here to here. <laughs> I am so confused. Let me show you so you can see what it is. Light and shadow. Ooh, Ooh. loose. It's no, so bright. Don't tear it. Don't tear it. Yeah, here, let's turn let's it over. Let's turn it. Yeah. Dora. <laughs> okay, let's flip it over. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. You got it? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jack, your baby. Come here. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You have to help me like get it all set up. Okay. Are you gonna this help? This thing is gorgeous. I think this will definitely help us make better pizza dough, don't you? And please don't yeah, comment yeah, on yeah, our lack no. of razor blade. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I don't want you to actually hurt yourself, I know. Show. Today we'll be making 
pizza dough plus pizza, because there's no pizza without the dough. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> it's definitely the first step of making a pizza. It is, it is. So first thing we have to do is we need to get this thing rising, don't you think? Yeah. Yes, okay, so I'm gonna have you add the uh, honey. flour. Honey, okay, We're gonna flour. add a, a cup. We're gonna add two cups of the white flour and two cups of the wheat flour. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of this into warm water. making this pear salad from the salad of the day. What are you doing down there? My legs are really sore. <laughs> Stand up, you silly boy. <laughs> oh, my legs. All right, look, this is what I'm making. Salad of the day. I love Ooh. this cookbook, you guys. This is from William Sonoma. It's 365 recipes for every day of the year, and we are skipping to December, because I feel like it. That's right, we're going to December because that looks like something that my husband will thoroughly enjoy. And since I was thinking there might be something really good in that box, then I was just gonna start with a thank you salad that I know he will really enjoy. So this is the winter pear salad with blue cheese, walnuts, and pomegranate. And I will be substituting my vegan feta in mine. Ooh, I have to do the vegan mozzarella. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna make this while the pizzas are going and we'll meet you guys back here. pizzas in an hour. Pretty amazing, right? Pretty amazing. You can grab your plate. Are you gonna try yours? I am. All right, you try yours and I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna cut one up for Parker. How we do? You took a big old bite, didn't you? Is it good? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I hope everybody's hungry. Oh, that is amazing pizza. See this? Do they, can they see this? Look how beautiful that is. Yes, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, thank you so much for helping me cook this amazing food. Thank you guys so much for joining us and hanging out with us a bit. I hope that you've enjoyed getting a shop with us, grocery shop, make food, unpackage fun gifts. It's been a good day, it hasn't it? It has, it has. It really has. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Make sure that you like and subscribe, turn on that bell notification, let us down below what you think is your favorite thing we've made tonight. What do you think the best ingredient is? And we'll upload the recipe to the blog? Okay, we'll make sure the recipes are there. 
I'll try to give you links down below in the description as well. Yeah, and my last thing is to just stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, okay. It's very hot outside. It is, it is in Atlanta. It's a daily reminder to stay hydrated. <laughs> Buddy, life is richer with you in it, I'm telling you. <laughs> you are amazing. I love you. I love you too. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I think this is my new favorite appliance. Sorry, it's so sad. You're still my first love. <laughs> sad music. <laughs> Activate it. Feel activate. Flower. Say that part again. Activate. No, the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Say it all again. <laughs> activate. Say it all again. Activate. No, say it all again. Activate. I'm too busy talking and not paying attention. We don't need that much water. Banana. Uh, tomato. Banana tomato. <laughs> banana tomato. Now the banana tomato. They're rare. You never find them, but. The shapes like bananas very slightly. Now, if you look at it nice and closely, you'll see it looks like a banana. <laughs> now, how about that? <laughs> Banana tomato.